by reporting to the minister the challenges they go through and the reasons why they are more poor. According to the state minister for microfinance, Haruna Kasolo says that not like in rural areas, in Kampala they are to give out this money in parishes and small groups because the city has the highest population with people that have a lot of different projects and businesses. The rest of the parts of Uganda, uh, in Kampala, we, we have designed a special program whereby we are going to treat a parish in Kampala, a ward in Kampala, as a constituency. Because in the rural areas, we are forming 18 circles per constituency. In Kampala, we are going to form 18 circles per parish. And in the, in the tax park, for instance, we shall have many circles. Uh, co considering their chart routes, yes. So we have a total budget of 40 billion to finance Mioga project in Kampala. So here I have mobilized all the leaders and brought them uh, on board because there is no way I can implement. He adds that in order to make the project successful, there is need to work with other leaders on different levels. He also adds that MUOKA is not only about giving people money, but it goes deep to empower them with knowledge of working hard and saving. All the leaders and brought them uh, on board because there is no way I can implement this program alone. I want to work with all the leaders in Kampala so that we can successfully implement this very important program. And basically, the Mioga is not about giving people money, but it is, it is both. Uh, well, supporting them with city capital, but also encouraging them to save because people earn money, but they lost to saving culture. Now we need to to bring them on board um, to respect the saving culture. Mm. Among the 18 categories that are meant to receive this money, each is entitled to get 30 million, but for local leaders, they have to get extra 20 million, making it 50 million. And this is because these local leaders serve the nation to assembly, but sometimes they don't even get salary. Every category, every circle is going to get 30 million and see the capital. Uh, but the, the circle for elected, elected leaders el, will get 50 million as city capital. But the rest will get 30 million. I have not talked about them. Initially, I had planned for them, but I was later advised by the Minister of, of, of uh, Education. They, they know how they can handle them. So we, we gave them their 20 billion to ensure that they mobile teachers and you see how they can finance their economic activities. So now I'm planning, me, I'm planning for only 18 categories. The teachers are going to be handled by the Ministry of Education. Is this, is this a revolving fund like a it, YLOP? It, 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 is, uh, it is a revolving fund, but we shall never recover it from, from the beneficiaries. What happens, once we have mobilized he says that among the reasons why Kampala citizens are so poor is because they turn the city political blaming every situation they go through to leaders instead of working hard. We go back to the original Kampala, Kampala as it used to be before, because for us villagers, we used to know Kampala people as business people, but nowadays, full of politics, politics. So we need to, uh, leaders, we need to work together to ensure that we advise our people. We should not incite. You see, politics only benefits a small portion of Ugandans. Yes. So we should encourage people to go into politics, to, to go into business, so that they can grow their business, they can enjoy their lives. Em Yoga is a Lunyankole word that means people working together doing similar businesses facing similar challenges. And it is part of the presidential initiative that is intended to empower Ugandans in their circles. Hasif Sechunga, STV Select News. Love